Hey there everybody, welcome back to Fan Bear Channel. I know I've been gone for a week. I uh, had to ship my son off to the US Army, which is very exciting. And a little hard, I'm empty nester now, so whoo, whoosa. But let's dive in. Um, I wanna go over some of the fundamentals of uh, chart patterns and how to understand the chart and everything. Cause I realized that most of my videos go over chart, you know, technical analysis. And I'm like, wait a minute, not everyone knows what technical analysis is. Not everyone knows what the candles are. So I'm gonna do a series of broken down Barney style technical analysis. And we're gonna start with candles. Uh, Cause if you don't know the candles, you don't know what everything else means, right? So here we have up the bullish candle. And here you see the green area right here. That's what makes it bullish. That's how you can tell it's bullish. Now you can set up your charts on whatever it is that you're using to be, um, you know, for bullish candles that are going up is green, or you can have them as blue, purple, whatever color you want. But generic or typically it is a filled in body that is green when it's bullish. Uh, so the filled in body that you see here, this area going on right here, that is telling you that it is upward action. Bullish means price is going up. So what this is, is at the, say this is an hour candle, right? So at the beginning of the hour, right here where it says open, this is where price was at. So price could have been maybe, what, uh, 89 cents, right? I apologize for my handwriting. So say it's 89 cents at open. Well, while price was open and it went up there, price could have gone all the way down to here to say maybe, we'll say 80 cents, right? So price went down and that's why you have this long wick right here, but then price went back up and it continued to go all the way up, right? And it continued to go all the way up to this high, this high point, which might be, we'll say 95 cents, okay? So during this hour candle, price started at 89, it dropped down to maybe 86, right? Then it went all the way up to 95. And then by the end of the hour, is right here. It closed at this line, which we'll say is 0.92, right? And so that is the basic breakdown of a bullish candle where this green body here, I know I've got so much of drawings on here. The green body there is what, you know, the true price action that stayed that was between the open and the close. And then those outside outlier lines, that just shows where sentiment took you, where like price at one point hit there, but it came back down, or price went down there and came back up, but ultimately, price remained bullish, which means that it, that price closed higher than the open. And I hope that makes sense. And so now in converse, we're gonna look at bearish candles. And just like I said earlier, you can make a candle any color you want, but typically green is up, red is down. Uh, sometimes you'll see uh, black and non-filled uh, as candles. I don't wanna say which is which because I'm not 100% sure I'd have to look at the chart to remember which is which because I normally use colors. Uh, so here in the red, it's the same system. So here, price opened up here. We'll say it opened at 89 cents, right? So price opened at 89 cents. Price then maybe went up. Price maybe went up to 92 cents, okay? Then it slammed all the way down because the bears were in charge or trying to drive this price lower. So it came all the way down here to maybe 76 cents, right? And then price then came up at the end of that hour to this close mark and price became possibly what? We'll say 83 cents. And it's the same thing as the bullish candle, but the reverse. So as we see here, price opened high and it came down and it closed lower. Whereas as we saw on the uh, bullish, price started the bottom, started the bottom, and now we're here up at the top. So that is the basic rundown of the candles and what you're seeing. And my next video will go in further to maybe understand trend lines and further different types of candle patterns. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this made a little bit more sense than just looking at stuff online. I hope I explained it in a way that you enjoyed it. If I did, please hit the like. That lets me know to make more content like this that you guys enjoy and that you guys find useful. I hope you're having a great week and doing wonderful things. And let's go make some money.